Hey guys, welcome to this tech news. I'm here in Boston for Think 2024, the big IBM's event. Uh, very exciting. I'm here really in the center in what they call the Watson X booth. Um, five key things you don't want to miss this week. The first one is uh, EU approves the world's first comprehensive AI regulation. Second, we'll talk about the US regulation on a high-risk AI system. Third, we'll talk about OpenAI that has disbanded its super alignment team. Fourth, we'll talk about more proof that having AI skills gets you paid better. Another mega deal in AI investments. And finally, we'll talk about a media giant that comes to term with using AI for its newspaper. The EU members have signed off on the AI Act, creating the world's first comprehensive AI regulation. The AI Act sets rules based on the risk of AI application to society, for example, banning predictive policing, banning emotion recognition in schools and workplaces, uh, and social scoring system, for example. High-risk AI uses like autonomous vehicles and medical devices require proper uh, certification. It also bans real-time facial recognition in CCTV while uh, with exception for law enforcement. General purpose AI providers must label deepfakes uh, uh, training data and comply with copyright uh, laws. The Parliament has approved the rules in March and it is aiming to set a global uh, set uh, standard for AI regulations. Now back to the US, Colorado Governor Jared Polly signed a bill requiring AI developers to disclose high-risk AI system and prevent algorithmic discrimination. It, it should be effective in 2026. The law targets AI systems that are impacting decisions in employment, in education, in finance, in healthcare and housing. Developers must disclose system information to regulators and to the public uh, and submit annual impact assessments. Employers using these systems must avoid algorithmic discrimination, although uh, tech industries 